feels like yesterday. You and me were standing in this very room. It does. Talking about how many Lego games there's been made. And voila! Another one pops up. It's like, it's destiny. You talk about Lego games, <laughs> you get another one. It's, wow. Well, I, it's, it's, I didn't realize. It's, it's our lot. Destiny. We're made to suffer. It's yeah, our lot in life. Yeah, probably, probably. Uh, that being said, it's kind of a good game, so suffer, I don't know. Ah, well. Mm. Okay, but the, the, it's Pirates of the Caribbean. Lego. Lego yes, style. Yes. And the short version of this review would be if you played a Lego game before, you've also played this. We kind of um, discussed having Lego Star Wars review, just take that and just bleep out Lego Star Wars and replace it with Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. And I mean, for, for, for almost every other game, this would like, be shooting it in its head. Like, the biggest critique you can possibly point at it, but this is Lego! So it's kind of... Everybody loves Lego games. <laughs> Seriously. All the kids go... No, but how can you not love the Lego games? I yeah, mean, how can you not love um, it's Lego games, just like we know them. Uh, of course, at this time, it's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, and that means that they've taken all four of the movies, and you're able to play them just the way you want. Um, and the stories, uh, cutscenes and everything, pretty closely follow the movies uh, in the way that Lego games do. So you will see all the famous scenes that you know, but, but portrayed by a Lego Captain Jack Sparrow, who is just insanely charming. I mean, even more or almost even more than, than the original character. Um, Not that handsome, though. <laughs> yes, I'm just saying. Um, so, yeah, it works. It's, uh, it's Is that fun. it? Are we done? <laughs> it works. Um, it should be said that, that um, this time around they have more or less tuned the game uh, more towards puzzles than okay. actually fighting, and that, in my point of view, is a good thing. And so now I'm going to say that I actually saw Thomas playing this in, uh, in the offices, uh, having problems with one of the puzzles. <laughs> I always seem to have problems. Pressing with against the red thing, I can't, don't understand. They and come back five minutes later, it's like, ooh, it's green on the other side. <laughs> and actually, uh, the guy sitting behind the camera right now, who's kind of a Lego game expert, was just like, yeah, you should do that. And I did, and it worked. So when you learn the basics of the puzzles in the Lego games, I would say it's, it's quite enjoyable. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I've actually, that's a, the that's a sad thing about the Lego games, because they are very charming. Insanely charming. Um, um, Traveler's Tales or TT games as that, I don't know, just know what they're doing. I mean, but this is a typical formula, that there's nothing, because you actually enjoyed Lego Star Wars, Clone Wars. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it, Lego Star Wars did something more with, with the whole formula, where it also uh, put in like a strategy game and like insanely big fights and everything. And, and, and the thing that most closely resembles a new thing in uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean game is the bigger focus on, on more far-fetching puzzles. And also that they have upgraded the, the graphics engine once again, um, which doesn't really have that big an impact. But the puzzles are better than in previous games. Um, and you will have to work harder to actually solve them. Okay, fair enough. Um, but with two of Two LEGO games coming out so close together. And if you've already bought LEGO Star Wars, The Clone Wars, either for yourself or for your kid, um, is there any point in getting Pirates? If you bought the previous one, or if you bought the last Star Wars LEGO game, maybe not. But, but I think most of the people, and, and the way I would look at the LEGO games, is that, that the LEGO games are basically, basically really, really good. So which game you buy, if you want to buy one of these games, should should be decided by what franchise you like the most. I mean, I was, and I'm, I'm kind of proud of it, I was laughing my ass off at the LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean game because I kind of find it more funny and more, like, enjoyable. Okay, with all that said about how how similar it is to the old games and how still how charming the story is mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, Johnny Depp being beaten out by a small plastic <laughs> guy. Um, sum it up, is, is it worth getting, is it, uh, I, I asked that already, but is, is it, you know. Is it fun? Is it, it, yeah, is it? The, the, the thing about the LEGO games and why they're still so amazingly successful is that the LEGO games are just really good, solid games. You know what, what you get from, from, from a LEGO game. You get really smart and really good co-op. 
get a lot of fun characters, you get a good story. Uh, again, the game is definitely best if you actually know the movies. Um, and you get a game that everyone can sit down and just play and have fun with.